Badger Honor Flight brings vet World War II veterans to see their memorial in Washington, D.C. And they're making a trip today here to tell us a little bit more about it. Steve Bartlett with Badger Honor Flight. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me back, Amy. And it's my pleasure. Now, um, you're doing another flight for today, and you need people's help this time around. Yep. We, we always like to have the community support, and they've been great in the past, and we hope they'll be great again tonight. We'd like you to come to the Dane County Regional Airport. Our plane lands about 9. Mm -hmm. We'd like you to be there about 8. It's a very festive um, atmosphere, and it's uh, the welcome home that the vets really deserve that most of them never got. And it is a party beyond all. We're seeing a little bit of what uh, transpired um, over last spring. And I can just tell you, I went on the flight with my uncle, and I mentioned to him as we were walking through all of the people, and he, I said, did you have anything like this when you came home? And he said, I got off the train and just walked home. There wasn't <laughs> anyone there, and so it truly is something absolutely incredible. But what do you recommend for people to bring with them? Uh, bring signs, bring flags. We do have flags we hand out. We have a sign-making area for kids. Oh, they can great. make signs. Um, it's uh, pretty well organized, but we really want it to be a good festive crowd. Again, like I say, our, our last flight in May, we had, we think, about 6,000 people at the airport. And if you've been to the Dane County Airport, you know that it completely fills the entire lobby, and the vets are able to walk down um, the entire walkway, the entire length of the airport. We, we actually rope that off. We've got an area, we call it the parade route, and we ask all of the vets to go through the entire thing because everyone is there to thank them for their service. And it is a wonderful opportunity maybe for civic groups, scout groups. It's not a school night, so you can bring your kids out and a great way for them to understand uh, what these people did for right. us. Right, and we get a lot of support from the scouts. In fact, if you remember when you went, we have a scout troop that's there in the morning to assist mm -hmm. the vets getting out of the cars and uh, make, make sure they get seated where they're supposed to be seated. So you've got another big flight planned, and you also have one coming up in October where you'll yep. need the same thing, right? Yep, we're leaving today, this morning. We're also October 13th, same, same uh, game plan. Be there at 8 o'clock that night. It's amazing the number of people we see over and over again. In fact, a lot of the vets come back. Oh, good. Just to, to you know, welcome the other vets home. So it's, it's oh, that's great. quite now, a party. You also are going to be involved with uh, Badger football. We've got a uh, great working relationship with a donor who's helped us, assisted us in getting a parking lot site. We're actually at Budget Bicycle on Regent Street right next to McDonald's. We have a pre-game tailgate party every Badger game. We open up three hours before the game. Okay. Great food. We've got music. Uh, we've got beer. We've got limeritas. <laughs> So a great way to support Badger Honor Flight. Have yep. a little fun, too. Exactly. And cheer on the Badgers. All right. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Take uh, your family. Go on out to the Dane County Regional Airport this evening. Be there around 8. The flight arrives around 9. They come down just a few at a time. So it's great if you stay all the way till the end, too. Yeah, that's one of the things we really ask is we want every vet to have that same experience of seeing that wow crowd when they walk out. So we do ask all of the families of the vets to stay there until the last vet has come down. Well, thanks so much, Steve, for Thank all you, you do for Badger Honor Flight, and have a wonderful time. Thanks.